Welcome to Electromagnetics Theory Lecture Series. I, Prof. Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you few very interesting examples based on potential in this video. So let us see the first question here. So see, a hollow conductor is at potential V. The potential at any point inside hollow is how much? So here, this is a question based on fundamentals. One should know when you have hollow metallic conductor, then inside hollow metallic conductor, electric field will be always zero. You see, if I say I have hollow metallic conductor, right? And if I keep this at potential V, you will be observing inside electric field that will be always zero right now if you want potential inside then basic calculation is how much electric field that is zero right and relation in between potential and electric field that is e is equals to minus of gradient of v right so here E is 0, so I can say minus of gradient of V that is 0. So I can say gradient of V that is 0. So what it means? V is constant. If gradient of V is 0 means V is constant. And as if V is constant, you will be observing potential inside that is also V. Right. So whenever you have hollow conductor and if you have potential over the surface then you will be observing inside potential will be v inside electric field will be zero right and inside potential is v why the reason is gradient of potential will be zero as electric field is minus of gradient of potential so here inside potential will be v that one can say and that is constant right let us have one more question. See, question is if V, W and Q stands for voltage, energy and charge, then V can be expressed as, so what will be the relation of V, W and Q? So one should know, see, when you want to calculate work done, then work done is differential of charge into differential of potential. So differential of work done dW that is differential of charge into differential of potential right. So here V stands for voltage W stands for energy means work done and Q stands for charge. So I can say dV that is dW by dQ. See this is how the basic relation that we can have. So here our correct option is this. I have seen students are making mistakes. Sometimes they think like V is dW by dQ. No. See dW is dV into dQ. Right. And to have complete voltage here we need to do integration. So that is what the basic case which we need to focus about. You don't need to forget integration process. Right. Otherwise you will be having false calculation always. Let us have one more interesting question. So see in question in uniform electric field, field lines and equipotential surface are parallel to each other intersects at 45 intersects at 30 degree or they are orthogonal to each other. Now this is very basic question that one should know. See equipotential surface and electric field that should be always orthogonal to each other right so our option is this but let me show you that practically so that one can understand like as if you have point charge let us have point charge q then you will be observing electric field that is happening like this right so this is how electric field will be there due to point charge and if you see equipotential surface, then you will be observing that is like this, right? 
so you can observe this equipotential surface is orthogonal to electric field right let us have few more cases if we have charge that is line charge then electric field that will happen like this right and if you see equipotential surface then that is happening like this you see so you can observe this electric field that is orthogonal to equipotential surface right let us have one more case so that that will gives you little more proper resolution for surface charge rho s you will be observing electric field is happening like this and if you see equipotential surface for surface charge then that will be always like this right so you see electric field and equipotential surface that is perpendicular to each other so one can say both of these are orthogonal to each other so one should know this see equipotential surface and electric field that is always orthogonal to each other let us have one more interesting question based on electric potential a point charge of 1 micro coulomb is placed in space as shown in figure so you see one micro coulomb charge that is placed here find vpq so you see p and q that is this points p is apparted by 40 mm from one micro coulomb and q is apparted by 20 mm from one micro coulomb so one should know what is vpq see vpq that is vp minus vq here i have seen students are making mistake vpq is always vp minus vq do not try to make it to positive or negative based on your thought process vpq is vp minus vq and vqp is vq minus vp see this is how it is there right many of the times i have seen questions are coming like this and students are making mistake so i hope now it is clear vpq is vp minus vq now let us say this is k q by rp minus k q by rq as q and k that is common in both so let me take it outside 1 by rp minus 1 by rq now k is 9 into 10 to the power 9 q is 1 micro coulomb so 10 to the power minus 6 rp that is 40 mm so 1 by 40 into 10 to the power minus 3 rq that is 20 mm so that is 1 by 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 let us simplify this further so 9 into 10 to the power 3 that i am having now see this is 1000 by 40 minus this is 1000 by 20 so this will be if you simplify this then that will be minus 225 voltage so vpq that is minus 225 voltage i hope you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any further questions just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you